Hey guys, this is Dapson Ishmael. A lot of websites offers the option to log in with um, social media, especially Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on. But the cool thing to know is that Wizu Web Builder version 17 also offers such functionality where you are able to log in with a social media profile to um, a login page or a page that requires you to log in before you have access to it. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to go about setting up um, a login page using social media or logging with social media. Now, logging with social media is actually part of the um, login set of tools. So when you type social in the tool box, you should see it here. And once you join the um, canvas, it comes in a form of a button. Now, if you double click on this button, there are a couple of configurations that needs to be done. So we're going to take a look at how to go about this um, one after the other. So the first one you notice here is custom field. Uh, you have database, password, server, table name, and then username. So all these information, especially starting from here, requires you to set up a MySQL database. Now this requires you to have a web server on your system or on the internet to be able to do so. The cool thing is you can install a web service on your local host system. So I have ZAMP installed. I'm going to go ahead to start my ZAMP, start all the services that I'm going to need, especially my SQL and then Apache. And in case you don't have any web server, you can also go ahead to install ZAMP, depending on the platform that you are on. So um, after doing so, I need to open up my browser and then go to localhost. So this is going to bring me to the dashboard. Basically, what I'm going to do is to create a database, which is going to allow me to configure my social login button. I'm going to head to PHP my admin, and this is where I will be able to create my database so I'll head over to database and for this particular tutorial I'm going to create a database called login underscore tut that is login tut and I'm going to go ahead to let me just copy this that is the name of my database I'm going to go ahead to copy that and I need to create a table because of this tutorial I'll have to create a table so I'll go ahead to create a table called login to it and I will just need one column. I need to also create a column. So I'll go ahead and hit on go and then for the column, this basically I'll call it login name. And that is all. I don't necessarily need this um, field, but because I'm creating a table within a database on my SQL, especially on this local host, you have to create one to be able to have it um, saved. So I have done that. I will come back to my WYSIWYG web builder and then populate those information. So as you realize or you saw earlier, the name of my database is database and that is login and um yeah i think that's login hyphen to it i think i did hyphen instead of underscore let me just go back to verify to be sure okay i think i did underscore here instead instead of uh, okay so the database name is login to it and let me just just it's always best to be sure which one is which so the name oh okay so i think as login underscore to it. So I think I should use that instead. So let me copy this and come back here and paste that here. So login underscore to it. The name of the server is localhost. And the name of the table name is this. Now the MySQL username, I didn't create any username, but by default, there are users called um, um, root. So let me just show you those um, users. Let me just come back to home and then come to um, user account. You should see root over here. So this is the root account that has access to 
everything so i'm just going to use that i'm not going to create any account so username i'm going to type root now for the root account there isn't any password set so i'm going to leave this as it is so i am done configuring my sql um part the next thing is to configure the type of social login or the type of social account i would want to use for the login so this means that if you click on the drop down here and that provider you have facebook google instagram linkedin spotify tumblr and twitter um, for this particular tutorial i'm only going to be showing for facebook and in subsequent um, tutorials i'll be showing for other um, social platforms as well now for facebook you need a key so let's take a look at how to go about accessing this particular key so to do so you need to open your browser and then go to developers.facebook.com mind you you will need a facebook account to be able to do so so if you don't have one you will have to create one after visiting this particular um, site you can then proceed to my app so you have to create an app that is going to allow you to be able to have access to this so as you can see i already have some apps um, created here so i don't need these apps so i can just go ahead and then remove them um let me just remove these apps okay so let me guess uh, remove this one so i don't need any of these apps because i I just created them for demonstration purpose. Now, after that, I'm going to go ahead to create a new app. So you have the create app button over here. Once you click on create app, it is going to ask you for um, the type of service that you are running. So I'm just going to say maybe for business and I'm just going to click on next and the app name. So this is going to be login. I'm just going to make this login. Um, I'll leave the email address as my email address. Now I'm not going to use any of my Facebook pages. So I'm just going to go ahead to create the app. It is of course going to request for my password to be sure if it's me or I'm the one trying to do this. And then after that is done, that is going to take me to the details of the app or what I can do. Now, what I'm interested in is the settings section. So I come to settings and then I go to basic. So this is where I would want to go to, to get some details that I need for my app. Now you notice that there's app ID and there's app secret. So if you come back to WYSIWYG Web Builder, it is basically requesting for secret and then key. So the key is the app ID. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to paste that here and then get the secret. So the secret you need to show it and then you would go ahead to copy it. Now this is very important to keep this very confidential so that nobody has access to it. So I'm going to go ahead to paste that under my secret and um, after doing so, you can go ahead to do other configurations on this particular social login. But most importantly, these are the very necessary configurations that you need to do. So I have that done. And because this is just for a tutorial, I wouldn't want to do so much more. Now, after clicking on OK, I get a prompt here telling me that this is um, a feature that requires PHP. So I need to change my page extension to PHP. So I'll right click on an empty space, go to page properties, and then under file extension, I'll change this to PHP. I'll go ahead and then click on OK. So after the configuration, there is one more thing you need to do to be able to um, test this. So you need to publish this to a web server. Now I have a local host web server, so I'm going to go ahead to publish this to it. I have already specified the path so i'll just go ahead and clear whatever is there and go ahead to publish this the page is done publishing so i need to go to my browser and then try to load this particular page to so localhost login and as you can see i have my login with facebook 
when I try clicking on this, I am going to encounter a challenge. So let me just click on it so you see what I mean. Now, one of the challenges is that it says that this uh, domain uh, isn't included in the Facebook app domain. That is basically my local host. And another challenge you would have gotten is that it will tell you the app can't or the page can't be loaded because it's not running HTTPS. So that is basically a challenge you're likely to encounter. So this, because this is a tutorial, that is why I'm doing it on my local host server. But if you are going to implement this, you will need to do it on your live domain. So you have to get a domain and then create a database and then go ahead to um, create your app on Facebook and then go ahead to do the configuration in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So that is basically how to go about configuring your social login, especially with Facebook in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 17. And subsequent videos, we'll be taking a look at how to use the other platforms, being it Instagram, um, LinkedIn, and so on. Thank you very much for watching. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to turn the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. Once again, my name is Dabson Ishmael. I'll see you in the next one.